In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus told his disciples, If any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it. And those who lose their life for my sake will find it. Once we were far off, but now in union with Christ Jesus, we have been brought near through the shedding of Christ's blood, for he is our peace. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, who in your tender love towards the human race, sent your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, to take upon him our flesh and to suffer death upon the cross. Grant that we may follow the example of his patience and humility, and also be made partakers of his resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. They went to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I pray. He took with him Peter and James and John and began to be distressed and agitated. And he said to them, I am deeply grieved, even to death. Remain here and keep awake. And going a little farther, he drew himself on the ground and prayed that, if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. He said, Abba, Father, for you all things are possible. Remove this cup from me, yet not what I want, but what you want. Remove this cup from me. It is tempting to imagine that life was easy for Jesus. That so sure was he about who he was and who he was called to be, that he faced suffering and death with calm and equanimity. It's certainly the case that at other points in the Gospels, Jesus appears to face what lies ahead with profound composure, so much so that he even prophesies about his own death on numerous occasions. Any thoughts in this vein that we might have about Jesus' emotions about his death are put firmly in their place by Jesus' prayer in Gethsemane. The words used to describe how he feels here communicate an overwhelming sense of anguish, distress and grief. Indeed, against the backdrop of Jesus' composure elsewhere, his distress and agitation which the passage implies were as much physical and verbal, must have been horrifying to behold. Even more than that, the passage makes clear that Jesus would do anything at this point to avoid what lies ahead. It is often said that bravery is not found in people who feel no fear, but in those who face their fears head on and do it anyway. Jesus here models for us what true bravery looks like. He knows exactly how terrible the next few days will be for him and is profoundly distressed at the prospect. Nevertheless, he agrees to face them anyway. Brave is not normally a characteristic associated with Jesus, but this passage makes it clear that brave is exactly what he was. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, 
you entered the garden of fear and faced the agony of your impending death. Be with those who share that agony and face death unwillingly this day. You shared our fear and knew the weakness of our humanity. Give strength and hope to the dispirited and despairing. To you, Jesus, who sweated blood, be honour and glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Let us pray for the coming of God's kingdom in the words our Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Most merciful God, who by the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, delivered and saved the world, grant that by faith in him who suffered on the cross, we may triumph in the power of his victory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. May God bless us, that in us may be found love and humility, obedience and thanksgiving, discipline, gentleness and peace. Amen. <laughs>